Blackjack, also known as 21, is the most widely played casino banking game in the world. Blackjack is a comparing card game between a player and dealer, meaning players compete against the dealer but not against other players. It is played with one or more decks of 52 cards. The object of the game is to beat the dealer in one of the following ways. Get 21 points on the player's first two cards, without a dealer blackjack. Reach a final score higher than the dealer without exceeding 21, or let the dealer draw additional cards until his or her hand exceeds 21. The player or players are dealt a two-card hand and add together the value of their cards. Face cards are counted as 10 points. A player and the dealer can count an ace as 1 point or 11 points. All other cards are counted as the numeric value shown on the card. After receiving their first two cards, players have the option of getting a hit or taking an additional card. In a given round, the player or the dealer wins by having a score of 21 or by having the higher score that is less than 21. Scoring higher than 21 results in a loss. A player may win by having any final score equal to or less than 21 if the dealer busts. If a player holds an ace valued as 11, the hand is called soft, meaning that the player cannot go bust by taking an additional card. 11 plus the value of any other card will always be less than or equal to 21. Otherwise, the hand is hard. The dealer must hit until the cards total 17 or more points. Players win by not busting and having a total higher than the dealer's. The dealer loses by busting or having a lesser hand than the player who has not busted. If the player and dealer have the same total, this is called a push, and the player typically does not win or lose money on that hand. Blackjack has many rule variations. Since the 1960s, blackjack has been a high-profile target of advantage players, particularly card counters who track the profile of cards that have been dealt and adapt their wages and playing strategies accordingly. Blackjack has inspired other casino games, including Spanish 21 and Pontoon. The recreational British card game of Blackjack is a shedding-type game and unrelated to the subject of this article. History Blackjack's precursor was 21, a game of unknown origin. The first written reference is found in a book by the Spanish author Miguel de Cervantes, most famous for writing Don Quixote. Cervantes was a gambler, and the main characters of his tale, Rinconeta y Cortadillo, from Novelas Ejemplares, are a couple of cheats working in Seville. They are proficient at cheating at Ventura, and state that the object of the game is to reach 21 points without going over and that the ace values 1 or 11. The game is played with the Spanish Baraja deck, which lacks 8s, 9s and 10s. Later references to this game are found in France and Spain. When 21 was introduced in the United States, gambling houses offered bonus payouts to stimulate players' interest. One such bonus was a 10 to 1 payout if the player's hand consisted of the ace of spades and a black jack. This hand was called a black jack, and the name stuck to the game even though the 10 to 1 bonus was soon withdrawn. In the modern game, a black jack refers to any hand of an ace plus a 10 or face card regardless of suits or colors. Rules of play at casinos at a casino blackjack table, the dealer faces five to seven playing positions from behind a semicircular table. Between one and eight standard 52-card decks are shuffled together. At the beginning of each round, up to three players can place their bets in their betting box at each position in play. That is, there could be up to three players at each position at a table in jurisdictions that allow back betting. The player whose bet is at the front of the betting box is deemed to have control over the position, and the dealer will consult the controlling player for playing decisions regarding the hand. The other players of that box are said to play behind. Any player is usually allowed to control or bet in as many boxes as desired at a single table, but it is prohibited for an individual to play on more than one table at a time or to place multiple bets within a single box. In many U.S. 
Casinos, however, players are limited to playing two or three positions at a table and often only one person is allowed to bet on each position. The dealer deals cards from his, her left to his, her far right. Each box is dealt an initial hand of two cards visible to the people playing on it, and often to any other players. The dealer's hand receives its first card face up, and in whole card games immediately receives its second card face down, which the dealer peeks at but does not reveal unless it makes the dealer's hand a blackjack. Whole card games are sometimes played on tables with a small mirror or electronic sensor that is used to peek securely at the whole card. In European casinos, no whole card games are prevalent. The dealer's second card is neither drawn nor consulted until the players have all played their hands. Cards are dealt either from one or two handheld decks, from a dealer's shoe, or from a shuffling machine. Single cards are dealt to each wagered on position clockwise from the dealer's left followed by a single card to the dealer, followed by an additional card to each of the positions in play. The player's initial cards may be dealt face up or face down. The player's object is to win money by creating card totals that turn out to be higher than the dealer's hand but do not exceed 21, or alternatively by allowing the dealer to take additional cards until he, she busts. On their turn, players must choose whether to hit, stand, double, split, or surrender. Number cards count as their natural value, the jack queen, and king count his 10. Aces are valued as either 1 or 11 according to the player's choice. If the hand value exceeds 21 points, it busts, and all bets on it are immediately forfeit. After all boxes have finished playing, the dealer's hand is resolved by drawing cards until the hand busts or achieves a value of 17 or higher. The dealer never doubles, splits, or surrenders. If the dealer busts, all remaining player hands win. If the dealer does not bust, each remaining bet wins if its hand is higher than the dealer's, and loses if it is lower. In the case of a tied score, known as push or standoff, bets are normally returned without adjustment. However, a blackjack beats any hand that is not a blackjack, even one with a value of 21. An outcome of blackjack versus blackjack results in a push. Wins are paid out at 1 to 1, or equal to the wager, except for winning blackjacks, which are traditionally paid at 3 to 2, or 1 and a half times the wager. Many casinos today pay blackjacks at less than 3 to 2 at some tables, for instance. Single deck blackjack tables often pay 6 to 5 for a blackjack instead of 3 to 2. Blackjack games almost always provide a side bet called insurance, which may be played when dealer's up card is an ace. Additional side bets, such as dealer match, which pays when the player's cards match the dealer's up card, are sometimes available. Player decisions after receiving an initial two cards, the player has up to four standard options. Hit, stand, double down, or split. Each option has a corresponding hand signal. Some games give the player a fifth option, surrender, hit, take another card from the dealer, signal, scrape cards against table, tap the table with finger or wave hand toward body, stand, take no more cards, also known as stand pat, stick, or stay, signal, slide cards under chips, wave hand horizontally, double down. The player is allowed to increase the initial bet by up to 100% in exchange for committing to stand after receiving exactly one more card. The additional bet is placed in the betting box next to the original bet. Some games do not permit the player to increase the bet by amounts other than 100%. Non-controlling players may double their wager or decline to do so, but they are bound by the controlling player's decision to take only one card. Signal. Place additional chips beside the original bet outside the betting box, and point with one finger. Split. If the first two cards of a hand have the same value, the player can split them into two hands. By moving a second bet equal to the first into an area outside the betting box, the dealer separates the two cards and draws an additional card on each, placing one bet with each hand.
The player then plays out the two separate hands in turn, except for a few restrictions. The hands are treated as independent new hands, with the player winning or losing their wager separately for each hand. Occasionally, in the case of 10 valued cards, some casinos allow splitting only when the cards have the identical ranks. For instance, a hand of 10 to 10 may be split, but not one of 10 king. However, usually all 10 value cards are treated the same. Doubling and further splitting of post-split hands may be restricted, and blackjacks after a split are counted as non-blackjack 21 when comparing against the dealer's hand. Hitting split aces is usually not allowed. Non-controlling players may follow the controlling player by putting down an additional bet or decline to do so, instead associating their existing wager with one of the two post-split hands. In that case they must choose which hand to play behind before the second cards are drawn. Some casinos do not give non-controlling players this option, and require that the wager of a player not electing to split remains with the first of the two post-split hands. Signal. Place additional chips next to the original bet outside the betting box. Point with two fingers spread into a B formation. Surrender. Some games offer the option to surrender, usually in whole card games and directly after the dealer has checked for blackjack. When the player surrenders, the house takes half the player's bet and returns the other half to the player. This terminates the player's interest in the hand. Signal. The request to surrender is made verbally, there being no standard hand signal. Hand signals are used to assist the eye in the sky, a person or video camera located above the table and sometimes concealed behind one-way glass. The eye in the sky usually makes a video recording of the table, which helps in resolving disputes and identifying dealer mistakes and is also used to protect the casino against dealers who steal chips or players who cheat. The recording can further be used to identify advantage players whose activities, while legal, make them undesirable customers. In the event of a disagreement between a player's hand signals and their words, the hand signal takes precedence. Each hand may normally hit as many times as desired so long as the total is not above hard 20. On reaching 21, the hand is normally required to stand. Busting is an irrevocable loss and the player's wages are immediately forfeited to the house. After a bust or a stand, play proceeds to the next hand clockwise around the table. When the last hand has finished being played, the dealer reveals the whole card, and stands or draws further cards according to the rules of the game for dealer drawing. When the outcome of the dealer's hand is established, any hands with bets remaining on the table are resolved. Bets on losing hands are forfeited, the bet on a push is left on the table, and winners are paid out. Insurance If the dealer's up card is an ace, the player is offered the option of taking insurance before the dealer checks the whole card. Insurance is a side bet that the dealer has blackjack and is treated independently of the main wager. It pays 2 to 1 and is available when the dealer's exposed card is an ace. The idea is that the dealer's second card has a fairly high probability to be 10 valued giving the dealer blackjack and disappointment for the player. It is attractive for the player to insure against the possibility of a dealer blackjack by making a maximum insurance bet, in which case the insurance proceeds will make up for the concomitant loss on the original bet. The player may add up to half the value of their original bet to the insurance and these extra chips are placed on a portion of the table usually marked insurance pays 2 to 1. Players with a blackjack may also take insurance, and in taking maximum insurance they commit themselves to winning an amount exactly equal to their main wager, regardless of the dealer's outcome. Fully insuring a blackjack against blackjack is thus referred to as taking even money and paid out immediately.
Before the dealer's hand is resolved, the players do not need to place more chips for the insurance wager. Insurance bets are expected to lose money in the long run, because the dealer is likely to have blackjack less than one-third of the time. However the insurance outcome is strongly anti-correlated with that of the main wager, and if the player's priority is to reduce variation, they might choose to pay for this. Furthermore, the insurance bet is susceptible to advantage play. It is advantageous to make an insurance bet whenever the whole card has more than a chance of 1 in 3 of being a 10. Advantage play techniques can sometimes identify such situations. In a multi-hand, face-up, single-deck game, it is possible to establish whether insurance is a good bet simply by observing the other cards on the table after the deal, even if there are just two player hands exposed, and neither of their two initial cards is a 10, then 16 in 47 of the remaining cards are 10s, which is larger than 1 in 3, so insurance is a good bet. This is an elementary example of the family of advantage play techniques known as card counting. Bets to insure against blackjack are slightly less likely to be advantageous than insurance bets in general. Since the 10 in the player's blackjack makes it less likely that the dealer has blackjack too.